Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Mr. 945, coming back again with yet another one. This will be the last of my 2023 gun collection video, and I'm going to chop it up into three parts. These are all my long guns um, in 5.56, 7.62 by 39, and just other obscure calibers. So not all of them are represented on this video, so I'll chop it up into three parts. And then I'll just kind of briefly talk through y'all know I don't like to do long videos, so I'm gonna try to keep this one short. But if you do want any detail in regards to like accessories or whatever that I've done to the guns, just let me know. And I will either do a video on it or I will just respond to you in the comments. But with that said, I'm gonna just kind of cut and come back and do one by one, just a quick, quick intro to each one of these that you guys see. And again, we'll start off first with the 556 five, collection, which is which is what you see now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start off with the first one. This was my very first AR-15. And as you can see, it is an MP15. This is the 15 MP15 Sport 2. Um, I have not done any major upgrades or anything to this at all. Everything is pretty much stock, all except for the butt stock. It came with the normal um mil spec butt stock and I just switched that out for a Magpul. Other than that, just threw on a couple of um, budget optics. So I got the magnifier and a budget red dot on top of there. So other than that, that's pretty much about it. Oh, and I switched out the hand grip. So still nothing major on the internals, just a couple of accessories that I updated, but I wanted to keep it kind of classic. So again, MMP 15 Sport 2 5.56. Next up, we have my 10.5 pistol, AR pistol. This is actually a Palmetto State Armory AR-15 pistol. Um, again, chambered in 5.56. So I wanted to actually keep that classic look, which is why I went with this handguard option as far as for the upper. Um, but yeah, nothing fancy, nothing special with this one either. I really didn't do anything different other than upgrade the, uh, well, no, it came with the, the brace and... Yeah, I just upgraded the pistol, I mean the, the grip on there. Outside of that, another budget uh, build. Well, it's not really a build, but another budget optic on top. And the, what is this, the, the sling. Just added that to there. So again, this is a 10.5 from PSA. Next up, another 5.56 option. All right, this is a full length 16 inch barrel, PSA. Um, lore with the BCA upper, so not, not a build, but just, I guess if you call that an assemble. Uh, most of my AR-15s that are, that I have are assemblies, so to speak. So, but yeah, so PSA, lore, BCA, Bear Creek Arsenal upper. Um, I think I have a Monstrum. I think that's the Monstrum LPVO on there. And let's see. Oh, and I just put an extended charging handle on there and the foregrip. So, other than that, that's pretty much about it. Five, five, six option. All right, another pistol option. Similar to the last one I just showed you, but uh, again, another PSA, BCA combo. Um, this is a 7.5. And I know y'all got your opinions about the 7.5 pistols or AR pistols chambered in 5.56. Five, five, you don't get the velocity out of the 5.56 five, five, or 2.23 two, rounds. I get it but I actually really like these noisemakers. They are loud as fuck in the range, <laughs> but I, I just like the compactness of it. So um, yeah, I have a couple of these, so hey, it is what it is. But yeah, budget dot up top, um, that's not a, that is a compliant uh, hand stop right there. So, but yeah, nothing major on this, but again, the piece, PSA Bear Creek Arsenal combo build or assembly. All right, we got another PSA BCA assembly demonstration here. Again, another 7.5, but uh, in 5.56, 7.5 length barrel in 5.56. And yeah, that is not a real EOTech. I probably won't spend a lot of money for the EOTech. <laughs> so I did get this budget option. It actually has held up. Um, even with that violent recoil of the the 5.56 five, round out of the short barrel. 
And as you can see, it is a side charger. And that was the option from a uh, Bear Creek Arsenal. So I decided to go with that just to see how it holds up and how it runs. But yeah, it, it's actually pretty fun, pretty fun. And I like the color scheme on there, FDE in black. But yep. All right, this is my little micro AR. Yeah, you thought 7.5 was bad? This Joker is a 5.5 inch barrel. <laughs> yes, I do have the PDW stock on there. Um, this is a PSA lower, but the upper is from a different company. I believe it's called Pro 2A down here in Georgia. So definitely uh, check them out. I believe they're down here in Georgia. Definitely check them out. But yeah, so I went with this um, just because I wanted something super duper small. I was thinking about a backpack option for 5.56 and decided to go with this. But yeah, and I wanted to keep it light. So that's why you don't see an optic on there. You just see the irons up there. But yeah. That's pretty much about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably one of my favorite ones that I have here, and I've done the most to this one. Um, and I forgot to mention on the last one, because on this one, you'll see a similar feature. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yep, the binary trigger. Yes, so this is not a complete build, but it's probably closest to what I would probably consider a bill for what I'm going to do. Um, so this is a Franklin Armory Lore with the BCA upper and everything that you see that is red, I put on there myself. So from the muzzle brake up top to the rail covers, um, the hand stop, which is nothing, of course, but I swapped out the pins, put in the... Um, the trigger guard, extended trigger guard. Um, it The lore already came with the binary in there. And I put in the buffer tube. Let's see what else. Red charger handle. I got some flip up irons. Um, red flip up irons. And as far as the, this again, this is not a real EO tech. This is just a knockoff that was in red. So it was in red. I had to get it. Um, with the magnifier, but yeah, so, so far everything has pretty much been holding up. Um, good shooter, very fun with that binary option on there. And yeah, but the binary option is also on the last one that I just showed as well. And I do have experience dropping in a trigger. Um, I did that on one of my 7.62 builds and I will show that to you all in the next video. But yeah, this is... These are all, I only have seven 5.56 five, rifles um, or pistols if you combine them all together. And the same thing for my 7.62. And then I have some other ones. But yeah, so just wanted to share these with you guys. This is part one. I will follow up with part two shortly. But yeah, for this one, this is 9.45. I'm out. Y'all stay safe, keep training, and we'll see you on the next one.